Welcome friends for another video on the MRKM primary buzzwords. The exams are not far away and I am hopeful that you guys are prepared very well. Let us not waste further time and I am Sajad Pathan. Let's move ahead with the buzzwords for today. Fractured neck of humerus. Which nerve is involved with fractured neck of humerus? That will be your axillary nerve. Fracture neck of humerus will be your axillary nerve. Fracture shaft of humerus. Fracture shaft of humerus will be your radial nerve. Fracture shaft of humerus, radial nerve, which will lead to wrist drop. Dermatome at the nipple, that is your T4. Dermatome at the nipple is your T4. Dermatome at your thumb, middle finger and little finger. This will be straightforward from your brachial plexus, which is C6, C7 and C8. So thumb, middle finger, little finger, C6, C7, C8. Learn it the way you want to. Uh, thumb, middle finger, little finger, C6, C7, C8. Foot drop. What nerve is involved? That will be your common peroneal nerve or common fibular nerve, which goes from the neck of the fibula. Yeah, just below the knee joint. Foot drop, common peroneal nerve. Origin of the muscle sartorius. Remember, sartorius originates from the anterior superior iliac spine. Anterior superior iliac spine, spine is the origin of sartorius and then it goes all the way through the thigh and below the knee joint and inserts medially at the proximal tibia. But origin is important, anterior superior iliac spine. Horner's syndrome, what are the symptoms associated with Horner's syndrome, which will be your PAM. Ptosis and hydrosis and meiosis. Ptosis and hydrosis and meiosis is Horner's syndrome. Type 1 hypersensitive reaction. What are the examples? It is atopic conditions, anaphylaxis, asthma, anaphylaxis, atopic conditions and asthma. Type 2 hypersensitive reactions are your ABO incompatibility, ABO hemolysis, rheumatic heart disease, good posture syndrome, good posture syndrome. Yeah, this is an antigen antibody reaction. Type 3 is an antigen antibody immune complex reaction. So there are three things over here. And this is your serum sickness, vasculitis, post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. Serum sickness, vasculitis, any kind of vasculitis, giant cell arthritis, Kawasaki's, uh, these are all vasculitis, can be is type 3 and post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. Type 4, the examples are your Mantu test, which is your TB and contact dermatitis, especially with nickel. Left shift of oxygen dissociation curve. We saw the right shift last time, which was the cadet. Here we are looking at the left shift of oxygen dissociation curve. And these are your abnormal hemoglobins. Abnormal, they are not actually abnormal, but just remember abnormal hemoglobins, which are carbon monoxide, fetal hemoglobin and meth hemoglobin. Type 2 pneumocytes. What is the function of type 2 pneumocytes? It forms the surfactant which reduces the surface tension in the alveoli. It also regenerates the new cells. Type 2 pneumocytes surfactant which is very very important reduces the surface tension of the alveoli, increases compliance. What is the function of type 1 pneumocyte? What is the function of type 1 pneumocyte? And that is your alveolar gas exchange. Type 1 pneumocyte just involves in alveolar gas exchange. Islets of pancreas, alpha cells, beta cells and delta cells. How do I remember these? It's very simple guys. It is glucagon, insulin, somatostatin. If you can't remember, there's a mnemonic that Abdul produces gist of basic sciences. Abdul is me who produces the gist, glucagon, insulin and somatostatin of the islets of pancreas cells. Alpha cells will secrete glucagon, beta, insulin and delta somatostatin. SA node, blood supply of the SA node is your right coronary artery. The blood supply of the SA node is right coronary artery. B12 absorption, where does it take place? B12 absorption takes place in the terminal ileum. B12 absorption takes place in the terminal ileum. So therefore, people who are having Crohn's ileitis or people who have resection will have B12 deficiency as well. Macrocytic anemia. Macrocytic anemia is seen in B12 deficiency and folate deficiency. You see macrocytic anemia in B12 deficiency and folate deficiency. Acyclovir, what is the mechanism of action? 
mechanism of action of acyclovir is it inhibits viral DNA polymerase. Acyclovir inhibits viral DNA polymerase. This you need to put in down because this is a very commonly tested fact. Acyclovir mechanism of action inhibits viral DNA polymerase. Spinal accessory nerve, which is the 11th nerve, supplies two muscles and that is your trapezius and sternocleidomastoid. Spinal accessory nerve supplies trapezius and sternocleidomastoid. Thank you for watching the video. Good luck for your exams. I hope these videos are useful. If you're liking these videos and you want me to make some more before your exams, please put in a comment below and uh, I would definitely make it for if you need one. If you're liking it, please do share it with your friends and colleagues and uh, subs consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. All the best for your studies and your exams. Uh, good luck. Peace.